What's going on YouTube? Kamikaze Von Doom here with another Division 2 video. Now this is going to be your state of the game recap for Wednesday, August 26th, but this is also big news for Title Update 11 thus far. Now there's three main components. The first one being the appearance mods. Next one was the loot changes. And then the last one being Skyscraper, uh, all of which are all coming with Title Update 11. Now, starting with you know what they said today, you have to first recap what happened last week. Now, last week they introduced uh, the appearance mods, which basically you can change the look of your backpack uh, or any gear piece to make it look like another one. So say you really like the striker look, but you want to run Eclipse or vice versa, then you'll be able to do it with these new appearance mods. Um, I've already uh, voiced my opinion on it, so I'm not really going to do much more than just uh, recap that. Now as far as today, they went into more detail about the agnostic mods being the uh, chess piece the mask and the backpack all have these mods usually they're fixed with whatever type of brand set or gear set you have whether it be you know a red mod slot blue mod slot or yellow mod slot well what they are doing now is instead they're going to change it to a gray mod slot for all of them and you will be able to put whatever mod you want in that particular slot and if you have uh, previously recalibrated a mod slot to be a different color, you will have that uh, retroactive. You will get the materials back, you will get the recalibration token back, and you will just get that mod slot gray like everyone else. Um, that's gonna be the cool part. Now, that part is retroactive with Title Update 11. All of those mod slots will turn gray instead of red, blue, and yellow. But the appearance mods are not going to be retroactive. So you actually have to buy a token or do whatever. Now I am going to be doing some PvP while I do this recap just to uh, keep things spicy. Now those are the uh, mod changes coming. Next up, they had Nikki on there, one of the developers, talk about the gear. Now the cool thing about that is for the first time ever they acknowledged that there's certain algorithms with skill tier uh, based brand sets and gear sets. So for example if you're running a skill build your core attribute will always be plus one skill tier. However in their algorithm for the loot it was still giving a random number in their equation on their computer on their side. However, for you on your side, all it showed was plus one skill tier. So that's what was lowering all of the other attributes for those you know skill related brand sets and gear sets. So what they're doing is they're fixing that and not only that, but for all gear, they're going to start making the top attribute match the core attribute. So if you're running a, you know, a Providence that comes with weapon damage, all of a sudden you're going to have Providence and you're going to have uh, an automatic red attribute as uh, one of the drops. Now the other one will be random like always, but still that's not bad at all. Oh, got him. Alright. Alright. So, next up, they were talking about... So, we did the mods. We've done the retroactive mods, the non-retroactive appearance mods that you have to sign in and actually enable. And then, what 
the next part is next week where they'll finish the three part State of the Game Data series now. about the title update 11. But they're going to release the PTS date for title update 11. I'm assuming it's going to be the end of next week. And someone data mined the Division 2's uh, update and saw that Skyscraper is rumored to be a 50 level building that you basically go through endlessly kind of like a uh, resistance now the cool thing about this is each floor there's going to be 50 floors each floor is going to be randomized so it's going to be random whatever boss you know level mission whatever it is so that's going to be pretty cool now it's going to give a lot of rep uh, replayability for pve modes but for the most part, that's about it. Uh, I still got him. <laughs> Alright, um, so that's going to be cool. The rumors about Skyscraper, yes it is PvE only. However, the whole 50 floor idea and it's random with different bosses and different levels, that, that is pretty cool. I might actually farm that method. Now they did say that there's going to be a craftable exotic that will you know be exclusive to skyscraper so I'm assuming that you hit a certain boss or something and you get the blueprint and then you go from there and it's probably all going to be skyscraper based which is fine um, so the rumors about that are not bad changing the uh, chest backpack and mask mods to gray mods is a great idea I myself love it and I think uh, I think it'll definitely help out a lot of builds. However, the part that's not the greatest is the way they fix the rainbow mods or the rainbow uh, attributes. Is the you know let's just say for example this chest piece. So it has weapon damage, and then the top attribute is going to be a red no matter what. Now that might limit you if you want to say run a hazard build or you know run you know s you know something else status effects maybe skill haste but besides that it's going to be awesome for those of us that run like all red builds all blue builds all yellow builds and so forth immediate medical assistance needed but uh those are all great changes and this is all coming with title update 11 I'm assuming the PTS is going to start next week, and yeah, we'll be looking for like a late September release for TU11. Now, uh, yeah, that's about it. The only thing I'd like to add is another speculation thing Hamish said a few times during today's stream that Bruce was looking at the Lady Death and Firewall. Uh, because a lot of people are using the firewall specialization just to catch people on fire when you, you know, take away their armor. So it was speculated there with Hamish talking about Bruce that Bruce might be on next week's day of the game and he's going to talk about Lady Death changes and changes to the firewall specialization talent involving that, uh, that whole depletion of armor all right but I guess that's about it you guys I'm gonna finish this game out I'm Kamikaze Von Doom hope you guys enjoyed the video smash that like subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next one agent kills the enemy is about to claim the supply drop
of reinforcements hanging there. There are no more rogue reinforcements. Boost. About to come online. Boost online. An agent needs assistance. is being taken by allies. The boost has been taken by allies. <laughs> it's a win. Uh, I, I guess that's the way to end the video. Jesus. GG, guys. Um, thanks for sticking with me if you watched the rest of that gameplay. Uh, that was pretty funny. I, uh... I felt I had to come back after getting knocked a few times while trying to talk. But alright, you guys. Kamikaze Von Doom, don't forget, hit that like, subscribe to the channel. If you're new, ring that notification bell, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Shh. Peace.